to another episode of Will and a Win. My name is Will. Today, I just I just want to come clean. There's just been something weighing on my heart, and I think it's time to just tell you all and show you all what I've been going through. So, without further ado. Oh. That is disgusting. It feels so good to finally just like show you all. I have not washed my hair in two weeks. Oof, it feels good to be able to just get up in there. These braids looking crazy. So I'm gonna take these braids out today and I thought, hey, why not answer some of you guys' questions? Not because you all just asked me questions, it's I asked you to ask me questions. <laughs> Tragic. Hmm, realizing how desperate I am for content, I'm gonna get the questions. If you don't follow me on Instagram, what are you doing? I know what you're doing, you're living your life. You're living your life. That is okay. Just be who you are. But you should probably follow me because that's where I ask you all to ask me questions. Y'all actually gave me some really good questions which low-key surprised me because usually y'all are just like, my hair is falling out, what should I do? Or y'all will ask me questions that I've literally made entire videos, multiple videos answering. Did not mean to read y'all like that, but it's true. The first question is from Claria Holmes and she says, relationship status? Question mark. Single. Ruben.Frez, when's your birthday? Funny you asked this because my birthday is literally next week. Next Saturday? I used to be upset that my birthday sometimes falls on a Sunday because I'm like, who's popping bottles on a Sunday? But I realized that I can party Saturday night into Sunday and have brunch on Sunday. It's a two for one. I'm turning 26 on the 26th. It's my golden birthday. And yeah, I'm pretty excited. Four more years till 30. That's like, <laughs> get out. Hazel Lotley says, can you recall the moment you became best friends with your best friend? Oh. So I have a few best friends and I sort of define best friends as people who know just like, a lot about me. Also, we gotta laugh. Like, my friendships are marked by laughter. <laughs> so this question is kind of hard because I do have a few best friends. Emily, I met Emily on a bus in Spain. And like, literally she turned around and she was smiling and she sauntered over on the bus. Due to the buses. And we just started talking. And I guess the exact moment that we became friends was on top of this castle called the Alcasaba in Malaga, Spain. We were talking about our lives and Emily had a YouTube channel and this was before I started my own YouTube channel. She was one of the few people that I had told that I like really wanted to start a YouTube channel. And she just gave me all the encouragement. I was like, I like this girl. And things have been weird ever since. Look who's here! <laughs> Emily! <laughs> also my friend Natalie, we had the exact same birthday. One of our first birthdays together, we spent getting matching earrings. So this is my only and first earring right here. This dangly one is like kind of fake. I only got this dangly earring because I wanted to be better than you. Hold on, hold on. I'm better than you. Brittany Renee says, any other career aspirations outside of YouTube? Every five minutes I go back and forth between whether or not I should go to grad school or if I should go to medical school. I'm still figuring it out. I'm in no rush. I'm taking my time with it. But I do know that I'm passionate about foster kids, like people who've been in my situation. And so I'm working on a lot of things right now in order to bring them some happiness, some self-care, some reassurance. Shameless plug, if you want to help me out with that, I'm selling these t-shirts that say split ends are like fake friends. Cut them off. Link down below. It's.Ray99 says, is it stupid to wait for someone to be ready for a relationship if you feel they are worth it? So this is a question that's relative based on the person, right? You have to be willing to take that risk to wait for somebody when you could be, you know, out there exploring other options. If you feel that they are worth it, then absolutely like wait for them. If you feel like they're worth it, but in that meantime, you should absolutely just like continue being self-partner, take your cell phone dates. Don't wait on somebody to fulfill like the superficial parts of a relationship. Like take yourself on a date, girl. You do not need to rush into a relationship. It is not all that it's chumped up to be. Tressy Prev, girl, I don't know. Do you like pina coladas and getting caught in the rain? Definitely love me a pina colada getting caught in the rain, no. What inspires you to work out? Um, honestly, I just really want to maintain a level of like stamina when I'm like walking upstairs and stuff like that. But beyond that, my diabetes runs in my family and so I don't want to get diabetes and working out and eating right is a preventative measure for diabetes. So also you just feel good, especially like over time when you see 
results, whatever that may be for you. It could be you lose weight, it could be you gain muscle, it could be you just feel better. It's empowering to know that you put in that work and you got something out of it. Why do you stop using the goo sound effect? I didn't stop using the goo sound effect. I just stopped using it as much. How tall are you? I am, you know, I'm gonna say six foot, but if I'm being radically honest, I'm gonna say 5'11". But I haven't measured myself in a long period, a lot of the time, so I could be 6'1", who knows? I'm probably 5'11", moving on. Mind dot underscore yo dot underscore business. Love that username. Any new shows you've been obsessed with? Yes. I want to watch The Circle, but I don't have Netflix. I did see the first full episode because they uploaded it on YouTube. The Circle is this game show where like... I think it's a cool concept. It's ridiculous. Like, it truly is ridiculous. And I want to continue watching it, but I just don't have Netflix. Ain't nobody got no money for that. I was watching you for a little bit, but I'm not like obsessed with it. I literally stopped watching. It. Killing Eve is good. Fleabag is really good, but it's definitely rated R. <laughs> I just got into The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Very weird time period. Big Little Lies was so good. And yeah, that's pretty much it right now. I can't really do like cheesy things that would be like on CBS at like 6 p.m. I'm not into it. Shane.the.writer says favorite moments from 2019. Favorite moments from 2019. Hmm. I would have to like really go back and like think about that. I don't know if I really want to think about it right now. You just fucking traumatized me. Do you understand that? What goal do you want to achieve this year? I just really want to work on me this year and work on fulfilling the potential that I've always seen in myself. And so I'm going to I'm going to take actionable steps to actually like do some things. I really want to create some things that um have been in the back of my mind for a long time. Who are some of your favorite YouTubers? I'm just going to list them up on the screen right here. Boom. These are people that I love. I enjoy their content. When you have a meet and greet. I don't know, maybe this year. I think that's a goal that I definitely want to achieve this year. Let's have a kiki. I want to have a kiki. Lock the doors. Tight. It'll probably be in New York City, not going to lie. Like, New York City in the summer is so beautiful to me and fun. And I'll probably host a meet and greet in New York City. But who knows? We might take it on the road down to Florida, Atlanta, LA. Petty Pack said, what's your daily routine? That is too broad of a question. I'm moving on. C underscore Mayfield said, what is your go-to song that makes you feel good? P.S. Love you. Um, right now, it's honestly anything, anything by Dua Lipa. You cannot be for real. I've been obsessed with Dua Lipa since she came out that joint. Like, not when she got famous, but when she was before the fame, girl. I don't know, I'm just like here for her sound. She really has a good sound. And she has lots of um really solid inspirations for her music. And so she has a sound that's sort of a hodgepodge of people that I already admire. Don't Start Now is a feel good song. Future Nostalgia is real fun. Also, when I'm trying to feel good, Victoria Monet is a good person to go to. And then also anything by Beyonce. Oh, I'm gonna do that anyway. I'm gonna do that anyway, cause that's how I am. Live.crystal said, one, what's your favorite color and how do you like to see it? And two, favorite dog. <laughs> uh, my favorite color is green and I like to see it in money. My favorite dog is Poodle. Are you religious? What's your height and can you follow me? Are you religious? Uh, no, not, I'm not really that religious, but I am spiritual. What's your height? I'm gonna say six foot. I'm gonna stick with that. Liar! Liar! Can you follow me? Uh, 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 no. Are you gonna go back to school? Maybe. Right now I'm in the school of life. Okay. <laughs> Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Girl, I could barely see this question. Girl with the underscore hair says, what's the tea about Ashanti's feet? We keep it between us? I'm not sure where I mentioned this, but I went to Essence Fest, somehow was swept into a room with Ashanti and Monica. It was a very like intimate experience. It was like 20 people in the room. Ashanti had on these shoes that like, <laughs> these shoes that like basically just like showed her feet and it was wild. Like we were, we like couldn't believe like, <laughs> See, this is, I can't, no. Nails by Taylor says, where's your happy place? Um, and then she gave me a few examples. A restaurant, destination, a gym. I love a good vibey bar. And one of those vibey bars is Mr. Purple in New York City. It's a rooftop bar and it's just, the music is good, the vibes are good, the drinks are good, the food is good. I just love when I can get dressed up and just like, chill. And of course I would have to have 10 baddies with me, people who make me laugh, stuff like that. So that's my happy place. It's just like friends and a good vibey bar, period. Sherry underscore cat 710 says, when you're having a depression episode, how do you manage your hair slash not neglect it? So whenever I'm feeling down or apathetic and I don't really have energy to do anything, the least that I do is I put on my satin scarf and that's on period. And I give myself permission to just like not take care of my hair. Like it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Like you really don't have to like be out here doing a full wash day when you're depressed. <laughs> 
What are your favorite natural hair brands and or products? I have so many, here they are. Boom, right there. Wow. Offset, spelled A-W-F-F, -F, set, said all the guys at my school like black fit girls, what should I do to change a person's mind? Girl, you don't need to be out here changing nobody's mind. You don't need to be in the business of changing nobody's mind. Yeah, there's people out there who are gonna like you for you. Also, let them like black thick girls. Like, let them do that. Mo Key. I never know how to pronounce this. You gotta tell me how to pronounce this. They say, what's your favorite snack? My favorite snack is, I love me some baked barbecue chips or just like, mangoes and i would say that i like cookies as well but cookies are evil i get addicted i'll be blacking out waking up three days later like where am i and also i'm allergic to oreos like i don't know what's in oreos but my tongue literally swells up they also ask do you like reading would you ever be willing to start a book club i would love to start a book club but i don't really right now i just don't have the energy or the um bandwidth to do that but i do like reading right now i'm reading a book by ta Hasi coates it's called the water dancer it's a really good book it's about a little boy who's born into slavery his mom was taken away his dad is the slave owner and he gets like semi special treatment but also he's like about to run away so we'll see what happens there Tyra X Tyra says I don't have no question just keep doing you boo hella love hella conditioner <laughs> thank you love you too girl Devin is so boring underscore says do you plan on moving also I love your channel Thank you so much. I love your channel. I'm kidding. I don't know if you have a channel. Anyway, do you plan on moving? Absolutely. <laughs> I've been in this apartment for two years and my leasing office, like, <clears throat> they express to me all the time that they really enjoy me. And I'm pretty certain it's because I pay my rent on time, girl, and I don't make no noise. I'm not, like, some bad, crazy, like, tenant. But I think this apartment served its purpose. It's a little small. And also, I'm just, like, I just want to move to a different area. So a few things are on the table. I could move back to New York City, but that's hella expensive. I was looking into Houston to Dallas, Atlanta. Ooh, girl, this feels so good. Oh, my God. Wow. Boy, if you don't. Soy.cute says, any advice on being by yourself and not being where you want to be at in life? Um, the biggest thing that's helped me is giving myself permission to walk my journey at the pace that I feel is comfortable. Like, I don't need to rush. I realize that we all have such little time on this earth and so, so many of us are like rushing through it. Obviously there are bounds because we do live in a system where we have to survive, we have to make money, we have to eat, we have to do things to you know, keep up with ourselves. But truly it's those people who are persistent and they don't rush themselves and crash who get to where they want to be at in life at the exact time that they need to. That's just the way God works. Congratulate yourself on just being able to survive. We were just born into this world. Girl, ain't nobody asked to be born. And then we're told we gotta work nine to five to like survive, what? We gotta navigate school, work, social life, relationships, love, family, all these things and it's like- Okay, I can't do it. I can't. I'm gonna you are stressing me to hell. I'm stressing you I can't, I'm not done. I'm so if you're able to just survive, congratulations. You'll get to where you wanna be at in life. Write your goals down and manifest. The Crave Money said, did you go to prom by yourself? If so, how did you handle it? I don't know if I should go. I got rejected three times. Oh, girl, I am so sorry. Um, I would say I didn't go to prom at all. I helped plan it. I was on, so I was on student council and so I helped like plan prom and stuff, but I didn't go to it because I was honestly scared. I'm scared. I was real shy in high school and I also had like extreme social anxiety and going to prom just seemed like the worst idea on planet earth. I had the opportunity to go to prom I think two or three times and I didn't go ever. Honestly, I'm doing fine. Like I don't really care. But if I had the confidence that I have now back in high school, I would absolutely just go by myself. You can go with friends, girl. You don't need to go with a date. Realize how stupid all that like social structure is. Just do your own thing. Go have fun. Basically, just enjoy them. <laughs> enjoy it. Oh. Deja Vu Makeup says, how old are you and where do you see yourself in 10 years? I'm 26 years old and like I said, I don't know where I'm gonna be in 10 years. Hopefully though, I'm eating veggie burgers with Beyonce. Okay, I gotta go. I have an appointment to get my hair cut, so I'm gonna be right back, okay? I'm gonna be right back. Oh, Oof, okay, so I am back. I feel better, I got my hair cut. It's a little chilly in my apartment, I don't know why. Cold outside, but I'm still looking like a daddy because a home never gets cold. For whatever reason, before I came home, I was like, let's go to Starbucks. I went to Starbucks, got this grande butterscotch frappuccino. It tastes like the burnt part of a marshmallow. Anyway, let's continue. Every kiss begins with pot. <laughs> 
One queen 11 underscore says, what do you do when your family is against your ways and dreams? Like not parents, but siblings and aunts. Ugh, pay it, pay it, absolutely no mind. These people are not like living your life. They're not on your boat, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, it's gonna be me who has to deal with the consequences of decisions that I make. And if those decisions that I make aren't truly mine, then I'm just like living somebody else's life. And that's stupid and that's unnecessary and it's a waste of time. Now, if they're interrupting you somehow because you depend on them a little bit for money or resources or whatever it is, then you sort of have to like work around that system. You have to find a way to gain your own agency back. And that's just on period. She jaded underscore says, first heartbreak question mark. Uh, my first heartbreak was a few months ago. Um, I did not expect it, girl. It caught me off guard. And it's tough. It's tough mentally, it's tough physically. That shit hurt. But with friends and a, a time, like it truly gets better. BG says, best tips for mental health. I've struggled all my life and I'm really trying to take control this year. Girl, I, first of all, I am not a therapist. Y'all asking me all kinds of questions about, <laughs> I am not licensed for this, but I would say life is short. So find the things that make you actually happy and do more of that. And that's on period. If you like to go on the highest cliff possible and look out over the ledge and just like, Wait, maybe don't do that. If you like to play with toy cars, girl, play with toy cars. F Sophia Zero says, favorite song at the moment. By the way, I love your videos. Thank you so much, girl. My favorite song at the moment, weirdly enough, Megan Trainor has been really serving us bops. I don't really identify with Megan Trainor's music, but like, truly the last two songs that she put out, Blink, Blink is so good. And Waves with Michael Sabbath, so good. Abida.x says, most spontaneous thing you've ever done. Um, the first most, I, I, I think it's a tie. One is I purchased a trip to Spain for a month even though I had never been out of the country. I didn't have a, a passport or anything. Brand out, I didn't grab no shoes or nothing, Jesus. And I just went. <laughs> Obviously I got my passport, it worked out, but like that was insane. Two, I went skinny dipping in San Diego, just like Ooh. in the ocean. I don't know. Agnes B. Official says, what foods do you eat for hair growth? I eat all kinds of stuff, girl. And fun fact, I'm no longer vegetarian. Chicken, 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 chicken. Yup, I eat chicken now. I just eat chicken, period. Just have a balanced diet, you know what I mean? Eat your fruits, eat your vegetables, eat your grains, make sure you have some healthy fats in there and get your protein and boom. What software do you use to edit your videos? I love you, by the way. Thank you so much. I love you too. I use Adobe Creative Cloud, which houses Premiere Pro, um, After Effects, Photoshop, like all those things. Any advice on self-doubt and comparing yourself to other people? It's something I struggle with. And this is from I Am T Simba. Now listen, you need to look in the mirror and you need to say, ah! Am I this cute? Give me my coin! Cause this face deserves all the money, all the love, all the respect. You're beautiful. Yes! I'm complete! I've been complete. I don't need nobody. I just need some coin. Cause I got all the love for you. Give me a kiss. The love of my life is staring right back at me. And it's great. <laughs> Cause I love you! Cause you fine! <laughs> yes! 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 <clears throat> yes! Yes! If I've learned anything is that even be even Beyonce, who seems like she has it all, even the booty, she does struggle. So you might want what other people have, but realize that it might come with a whole set of issues that you never thought about. Why about yourself? Why about yourself? Chapman 90 says, hey, hey girl, what kind of lighting do you use? This is an interesting question because I just purchased new lighting. I'm not sure what, <clears throat> what brand these lights are, but I have two box lights here that are like diffusers. They, they're filler lights and they sort of like fill in all the shadows. And then I used to use, well, I still use sometimes on occasion, a ring light. And I got a ring light, I think from Newer. Newer is like one of the more popular brands that like YouTubers um, purchase. But I purchased two new lights also from Newer. <clears throat> And they're more studio lights, they're more professional. They're LED lights. I literally looked right into it, girl, my eyeballs. J.P3G says, will you ever update your merch? Um, maybe. Merch seems like such a silly idea to me. One, because I 
put out merch and not one of y'all bought it. Well, maybe like two people purchased it and one of those people was actually my friend Natalie. Brianna0216 says, what's the tea on your love life? The tea is that I'm self-partnered and I'm having fun. Tomlinson? Kennedy says, how did you find all the great memes for your YouTube videos? So this is funny. This is a funny question. I get this question all the time. Basically, I find these videos maybe if I'm watching like lots of Twitter memes, TikTok references, but also when I'm editing a video, like little things that I do in the video will remind me of something that I've seen before or a show that I've watched or like something that I've come across and then I'll just spend like literally 30 minutes to an hour trying to find a clip of what I'm remembering. So basically the answer is the crevices of the internet. I just literally search and I find it. Underscore Mama Jamama J. When are you coming to Atlanta for a meet and greet? Girl, I might be coming to Atlanta to live. I am thinking about moving in a few months maybe like four months and I'm, I've been looking at Atlanta hopefully soon whether or not I move there like we'll do a meet and greet blue dot John says have you ever gotten a perm or damage of any sort I've never had a perm but I have had damage I've had heat damage I tried to straighten my hair like two three times back in college and girl the way my hair went flat flat it like literally like all the colors just went boom and so I've had to do like a few big chops baby underscore baby Ryan says what keeps you motivated the haters. Are you vegan or vegetarian? What do you think is the best clean eating plan? Um, I was vegetarian, I never was vegan. I would say the best clean eating plan is whatever you put in your body that doesn't make you feel bad. Listen to your body after you eat. We ain't putting regular gas in the Ferrari no more, period. Monster Four Rose says, if you could live anywhere in the world, where would you live? I would live in Malaga, Spain, which is southern Spain, it's close to Morocco, right across from the Shield of Gibraltar. It's just a really cute, small city that's just like tight knit and I could speak my Spanish and it would just be lovely. Or if I was like uber rich and I never had to take the subway system or um, smell sewer, I live in New York City. Um, underscore Bernard Daniels, hey Bernard. How do you think you've influenced other YouTubers? That's an interesting question. I don't know. I would hope that I've influenced other YouTubers in a positive way. Like watching other YouTubers gave me an idea of like what content I wanted to make, how I wanted to make my content, how I wanted to style it and all that stuff. And so, I don't know. I hope that I would be po like positively influencing other YouTubers. I don't know. And that's pretty much all the questions. I've been up here for so long, girl. I hope that through these questions, y'all have been able to get some help, that you know a little bit more about me. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up. And if you wanna stick around, be my friend, be my homie, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Maybe I'll put out merch that says, be my friend, be my homie. <gasps> Oh my God, big merch is coming. But if you do wanna be my friend, be my homie, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. And my second YouTube channel, Will on a Whim More. I hope to see y'all back here real soon for another episode of Will on a Whim. But until then, bye.